The Comelec is still on the hook for glitches during the May 13 midterm elections, while ideas to overhaul the automated polling system are already being floated. Patricia Mangune has the story. Comelec Chairman Sheriff Abbas is open to procuring new vote counting machines for the elections in 2022 saying he is no longer confident in reusing the VCMs from Smartmatic, which were used in the last two elections. But Kamala clarified that Smartmatic can still join the bidding process for new machines. But they say skipping this step may expedite the procurement process. Itingnan nga natin kasi siyempre aralin natin yung basis naman na kung bakit sila pwede. Uh, so tingnan natin pero ang pinaplano namin, uh, ako personally baka makakakuha tayo ng exemption from the Congress na exempted kami. This comes after President Duterte urged the COMELEC to drop Smartmatic. Kasi he doesn't want that any election in the future would be tainted with a whiff of fraud or allegations that will produce the effect of people doubting the credibility of an election. Kaya nga sinasadya siya, tingnan nyo. The COMELEC also had to face Congress to explain why their transparency server had a seven-hour glitch on May 13. They arrived at no clear answer, only theories from local source code reviewers and the Technical Evaluation Committee. The stored procedures Actually, that's what we were looking at uh, could possibly be the cause of the um, seven-hour glitch. So we will need to really understand and make a deep dive of how the delay happened. The COMELEC said they will submit a technical report once they conclude their investigation. Meanwhile, Senator Coco Pimentel plans to propose a hybrid election system, a mix of automated voting and manual counting, which he believes may boost the credibility of elections. Ngayon, tali ang kamay ng COMELEC, they have to implement an automated election system. But if we want to witness the counting at the precinct level, ang tawag natin dyan is hybrid. Hybrid because may manual part at may automated part we need to amend the law. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.